friends from uh, last uh, few months so many farmers are requesting that uh, we want to know what is SCT what is SCT Vedic you already transformed updated with the uh, SCT Vedic but we still don't know what is SCT even so they want to understand what is the base of SCT and what they upgraded into SCT Vedic so that's why we decided to start a uh, new English channel for all our uh, South, in South Indian farmers and abroad farmers who don't understand Hindi or Marathi. So this today's our all efforts are for those farmers who are willing to understand what is a city and what is a city with you. So let's begin. We will start from a city. What is a city? Soil charger technology SCT is abbreviation for that. Okay. So what is SCT and how it uh, we started? We started at 2015 and uh, myself, I am a farmer uh, from last uh, 20 years, I am practicing in my own farm and uh, we do so many experiments with uh, chemical farming because my father is practicing 20 years only chemical farming and I am helping him from my childhood from I think 9 years old to almost 16 to 20 years I am following my father what he is suggesting me I am uh, bringing the dose of chemicals and giving to the field and uh, using it so meanwhile when I come to know the um, information about all uh, farming practices and everything what is the effects and everything I am starting learning from books and uh, other sources newspapers I am little bit interested in thesis, researches, find out the research papers from scientists. So this, this is a hobby for me to know. I am so much curious from my childhood. So my curiosity started sinking deep into the this farming area. So as far as I started to research, uh, see study and find out the information about farming. So I started to taking interest that uh, there are so many research papers on every aspect of farming. But when I go into the field, the guidance and guidelines are giving and practices are doing there into the farm. Those are totally opposite to the with the researches. These two things are not matching to each other. I am surprised myself that there is something interested. So still I am not the, the student of uh, agriculture, I am just a student of uh, art faculty but only I am interested so I go into deep. As far as I go into deep, I am shocked myself that uh, what is going on. So farmers are doing different things and uh, scientists are suggesting uh, different things. What is this going on? So this is a big mess for me. So as a farmer, I started some experiments in my farm and uh, at 2003 I visited our universities agriculture university Rahuri Hamandagar in Maharashtra then I visited so big farmers who are practicing various types of methods then I visited few scientists who are practicing in different different crops and also I visited some exhibitions in Pune there is a big Kisan Mela you know so I visited uh, in 2004 and I got some basic information about the researches and everything so that time I surprised myself when I started uh, onion farming I go into my farm and uh, I meet my father I say Dada him Dada I want to do farming he said me, yeah, you already doing. Why do you want to do again? <laughs> I said, no, I want to be responsible for everything. I want to do in my way, okay. if you permit me. So anyhow, he permitted me. 
so i started my own farming experiments 2003 so i started with a innovative method means i used uh, drip irrigation as an advanced technology for onion in those days 2003 uh you will surprise that the seller of drip irrigation that you know the agent that person opposed my family that don't do it for your onion because the farmer are using it for horticulture only this is a big expenses how can you bear for a small crop 41000 rupees expenses per acre at that time because it is should be high density and high density is expenses means is a huge amount if my my salary is 11000 rupees per month and uh, i have to purchase 41000 rupees you can imagine what is the uh, yeah so same thing is happen there and i fight with uh, my family's all this uh, thoughts and uh, i push my experiment ahead and i succeed i done it with the natural farming see i don't give any fertilizer even not a organic fertilizers not given fym also you will be surprised that what i did i used uh, the green fertilizer you know green fertilizers it is tar dencha this all juice and other things i grow it i buried it at the flowering level and uh, i started to uh, fertilize all the soil and nourish it and then i started the crop and i got the results you can see uh, it is marathi newspaper there are lots of marathi papers are covered this news in my area i am within one two years i am become famous <laughs> so but i become negatively famous this uh, the son of this mukekar uh, he will destroy all the chemicals and everything <laughs> he is telling that nothing to use <laughs> in farming how it's possible so in those days i started the farming in my own farm and uh, there are so many farmers they don't, don't know that i am a farmer and i am already practicing for 15 to 20 years as a farmer so then my story started and uh, i got ex- that's a uh, very tremendous results in those system natural farming but those days are very different day by day when the years are going on after some years i started same technology into the tomato i got very good yield but i failed to control the diseases and the the larva fruit borer paste that control. yeah paste control i i failed there i am you know so my family is so much uh, sad because of me because we cut down carrots and carrots thousand carrots because of fruit borer at those days because i uh, that i oppose them to spray chemicals so i can't be able to control this pest with the organic way so many experience i got in my field then in 2013 i planted myself pomegranate garden so this is my story i started my uh, you know pomegranate garden in 2013 and uh, i started with organic way natural way not organic way it means natural, natural way means nothing to give it only that uh, what is fym is available in our own farm with uh, desi cow you know and uh, whatever available in uh, atmosphere this neem leaves extract then uh, some other extractors are there the other herbs are there na in town areas so i collected from in supli one of name is supli so it is hilly area one uh, bush is there so i got it all these things and i spray in my farm and try to control the pest and fungus and everything so from that time i faced that something is missing because of that nourishment i get some you know problem that struggle there to get the size and quality of the fruit so that time i got first time this technology we started the foundation of this soil child technology is are there in 2014 in my own farm first we applied there Then slowly, Krishyamrut comes up, 
because there is a every behind every product there is a story it is not means uh, deliberately we are launched it it's launched naturally because we feel the need and we invent it in this way every product comes so krishi amrit comes in same way there are so many my friends i research that that uh, um, i want to give the fertilizer so means i started with the neem cake and uh, uh, this one our uh, poultry farm manure so poultry farm manure for and that neem cake i researched everywhere so so many people are giving their own opinions so many addresses are there i just confused with the quality which one is better or no understand so i started so those time i found that only neem cake and poultry farm manure is not sufficient for the nourishment it is not a full diet <coughs> it should be deficient for in other way means there are 16 nutrients the plant wants if you want the complete balanced diet you need 16 to 18 elements okay and which which one which uh, organic manure will provide you which minerals and which is uh, dominant in which minerals that should be understood so i am you know that uh, i have that uh, curiosity for everything though i go into deep and find out that so we need the gujarati thali you know we we, we can't go with the punjabi dish you know it or not yes. if you go with the single roti and the ringal sabji you will be deficient in other way so you have to go with the gujarati thali means there are variety of the foods and all foods will cover your all nutrients different and your vitamins and everything so i thinking about that and then i designed with my colleagues and my uh, friends some experts we designed the krishi amrut with the 13 elements and 16 elements okay so there are 13 substances we are organic substances we are using in krishi amrut that's why the krishi amrut is the the famous and the thousand times appreciated by farmers throughout the india still it is famous it is the top one in organic field in everywhere in maharashtra in gujarat and everywhere south india also uh, from himalaya to you can see kanyakumari okay tamil nadu hmm? madurai we already given and himachal pradesh we already given so we covered all okay. india so assam to gujarat means if you go horizontal also and we go vertical also both way we are reached to the india we almost reached in bangladesh also so and there is a demand from sri lanka and afghanistan and uh, brazil also so this is good thing that the product is genius this is not the that the effect of ramsa this is the effect of this genius inventions okay so we started for our farm and why we uh, why i planted this farm because when i go to the visit for the farmers the farmers are telling their experiences so you don't know you don't know about the blight and its effect and the diseases and everything every time i listen those farmers that so you don't know i have you know i i have pained when the farmers tell this sentence they make this comments yeah you ram you have no personal experience <laughs> huh? if you want to see heaven you have to die <laughs> so i decided to die <laughs> i planted 520 palms in my home okay at my home area and there is a field so it my farm i planted those and started my journey so let's what i learned in those times means from 2003 uh, to 2013 there is a vegetables grains and so much things i experienced uh, pomegranate and all horticulture with other farmers but from 2013 i experienced a pomegranate with my own farm so i cover vegetables horticultures with my own experiences and that's all experiences till 
17, 18, I am personally involved into the farming. From 2019, maybe 2020, I little bit disconnected with the personal expenses. But uh, with the widgets, I still connected with the field. That, that is my very, you know, that uh, very uh, nice experience when I visited to the farmers. If Ram sir will grow, how he grow, what is the secret of his growth? His field visits. Farmers will visit is the secret key. The farmers are my, farmers are my scientists. <laughs> they are my teachers. And the field is my laboratory. I always uh, to speak that my home garden, home garden is my laboratory, it's not a farm. Because I experienced everything there. Even I experienced the herbicide also myself. Frankly to speaking. Why? I want to know the side effects. I kept the garden with the 25 kg loaded for 45 days without any spray. This is why you will be surprised that for about 17 days, it has been a long time for me. We have not done any chemical fungicides here. Now you can see the quality of this fall. This is the whole fall. We have done this experiment. I have taken the risk. What is happening with the farm? So, I am so much uh, curious also and courageous also. I kept that much strength. So, let's, we, I want to share the what is strength and technology and why, what I gained from these all experiences from last 15 years into the farming. So, I want to share it with my all colleagues and all farmers. Okay? So, uh, one thing I want to request all the other viewers that don't see me as a as a scientist. I am not a scientist. I am a simple farmer as like you. So don't consider me as a scientist. Okay. Whether any if you find out any errors, any abduction, you can contact me on my number. Thank you. Okay. Let's begin. Problems. The farmers are facing problems. Which problems? See, first uh, soil infertility. That is the biggest problem I am going to discuss with you right now. Fertility is the biggest problem. Why it becomes a serious problem in today's day? Why? Due to insufficient nutrients. How, how can you say that uh, due to insufficient nutrients? If you go for the soil test, we find out so many nutrients are excess. To excess use of chemical fertilizer. Chemical fertilizer. Why are you using the excess? Yeah? After the Green Revolution. What happened after Green Revolution? From 1965, we are using so much uh, fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, chemical pesticides, hybrid varieties. So what happens? The They all depleted organic all the organic carbon. It is in Marathi, Hindi called Zamini Chakkas. Humus evaporate it as like a water, as like a petrol. Last 30, 40 years, 50 years, we lost all organic soil organic carbon as OC. And because of that, when I just uh, thinking about the organic carbon, you can surprise that uh, when we started the farming from 40, 50 or 60, 70 years. Those days, our soil has 3 to 4 percent organic carbon. Let's, we, when we start the, the PPT ahead presentation, we can see those information also. So, this is first problem. Second one, more or less water scarcity. It's less water is a problem or more water is also a problem. Okay, because of that, the suffocation is happens. When the water that uh, they, are, they are holding the water into the soil, they are stagnant there. Means when the water is not going leach out and it is not pass away, their all roots will blocked by there is no aeration and because of that there is oxygen deficient is there and without oxygen plant will not survive. So that is the problem. This one picture is, we can see. This picture is from. Not Sagar, Jalashaya, from Patan, district Aurangabad, state Maharashtra, India. 
I have taken this picture from flight when I traveled to Shirdi to Hyderabad. So that time I took this picture. You can see clearly these white patches. What are these white patches? This white patches are nothing but this is water soluble residue. Okay, and it comes from a grape city from Nasik. Why? Not only a grape city, a grape district. I can say. So grape district, all the water through the Godavari River, it travels from Nasi to this. Yeah, Nasaga. Yeah. So Jaipuri Dam. It's called Jaipuri Dam, and those water carrying that all the residue of water soluble, and this is lying away as like a layer, and you can see there. You can see from thousand feet height clearly. With the normal camera, so you can imagine how much we damage and we lost our money, our farmers' money, and we are spoiling our soil and water. We are contaminating it. Yes or no? Yes. yes. When I met uh, some farmers from Patan, you will surprise that the farmers are telling me, sir, when the water is dehydrated from the sun. And it is dried, and with the concentration of solvent will increase, and TDS will increase. The TDS will go hike for 1700 to 2000, and that time if we feed the water to the plants, the plants are burning directly. So it is happening. It is a big loss for soil, big loss for water, big loss for farmer and atmosphere also. And the farmer who are using these water solubles. Those farmers are also not getting the results. They are getting only 10 to 20 percent. Another 80 to 20, 80 to 90 percent will drain out. You know, all drain out and uh, reach to the river, and it is run away to the Zaykuri Dam. Yes or no? Yes. So this is happened because of that salinity. We can't able the farmers can't able to crops and the trees and the Uh, is uh, gardens in very well way because this salinity high salty water is dangerous to the plants you know all uh, you know living organism also because it will hide the ph now above 75 7.5 8 8.5 ph the microbes will die or go into the inactive okay so you can see the effect of these things then second uh, another the, you can see the uh, next problem for farmers is food safety every farmer is <coughs> questioning and is asking and complaining about food safety color shape size and weight and even the taste also so many times i heard the question from farmers and so they are complaining sir there is no sugar in grapes also in Other few minims, uh, pomegranate also, and other tomatoes and other things. So these are the common questions for the farmers. Next problem we can see wilt. See, I have one simple question to you. Which one will dead first, the soil or the crop? Soil. soil. First, the soil will become dead, and then then the crop will dead. If the mother is weak, already. Her baby, baby will change weak. Same thing is happen with our soil. When the soil become dead, how? Why the soil become dead? The farmers are pouring chemicals, deadly pesticides, and the poisons into the soil. Which chemicals, uh, chemical pesticides, and uh, or uh, herbicides, or maybe your uh, fungicides? Those are totally deadly poisons. Yes or no? Yes. And those poison when into uh, entered into the soil, they will destroy all the microbes. All the friendly microbes will yes. dead. Okay. And what happens? If there is no microbes, soil becomes dead because of those microbes. Soil called live soil. The microbes will go. <laughs> the soil become dead. So, so the soil becomes dead. And all pathogens will cover the soil, and they 
destroy all the life from the soil and almost plant also. So main problem is soil and the microbes, friendly microbes, not this wilt. Wilt is the effect. But unfortunately, all the focus is turned to disease. Nobody is, no one is focusing on the soil problem. Why microbes are run away? Why they are dead? Why their count is not there? Why they are become weak? So they are find out some other alternatives. They make uh, Jivamrita and uh, culture of the friendly microbes and 200 liter barrel and they are pouring in one acre and happy. Balle balle. It is not right thing. Na? Is there is any sense for that? No. Hmm? Making any sense? No. See, in one acre soil, one acre soil, 40 hours, means I think uh, 2.5 acre is equal to one hectare, right? So, this one acre farm in every particle of soil has one uh, 100 one crores. 1 million, not 100 crores, bacteria. One single particles. You can compare that how many are in one acre soil. There is the number will be countless, uncountable. So that much bacteria or microbe you have to pour into soil. It is possible? Impossible. It is highly impossible, right? So we are just uh, making a fun with giving 200 liter bag. Yes or no? Yes. So they can't be able to survive there. So farmers have to give again and again. This cycle is going on. So this is not right way to do the farming. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. What is the solution for that? We have to go ahead. Next one, we can see the uh, fungus, serotysis, fabriata into the, uh, this is one of the diseases. There are phytophthora, there is other species, fusarium. In pomegranate I am talking about, but there are other vegetables, there are varieties there, damping up is there, so many diseases are different, different. But cause is one. Understand? Okay. So whether there are there are options from you for you that whether you learn for the disease, you learn for that species deeply or learn how why they are emerging. Why? Why they are come up? Why they are developing? If you find out the root cause, there is no need to how and what are they. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. You have to study for disease or you have to study for health? Health. Where are you going for disease? If you study disease, you will grow it. <laughs> Where you focus, that will grow. <laughs> These generation are studying only disease. disease. But what is the root cause of disease? No one is interested. That is the tragedy, I think, as per my knowledge. Okay. Next one is fungal disease. Okay. Sarcospora. Then downy is uh, powdery mildew or downy mildew. Then anthracnose, black spots. Then you can see viral diseases, bacterial diseases, viral and bacterial also. So this is bacterial blight. This is canker for citrus and uh, you can see the anthomonas you know built for tomato okay so these all problems why they are coming we have to learn about it this is a problem for common problem for farmers but uh, i want to focus all these things towards the root cause not on the disease okay in sat we are teaching farmers that don't use herbicides Systematic herbicides are highly dangerous for the soil health. If you play with the game with the soil health, you will miss out all the life from soil. Okay, you will miss the game. How, how can I tell about that? So farmers are thinking that uh, these herbs are they are extracting all the nutrients from the soil and they are compete with the garden. Yes. You are right, but my dear friends, I want to clear one point what I experienced myself. In vegetables and small crops, there is a competition, I know, 
because those are similar can you see that uh, the competition is between the elephant and with the ant there is a competition huh? how much uh, food will eaten by ant will come you compete with the elephant's food <laughs> why you are laughing for that <laughs> there is no competition yes or no yes sir so you must understand that elephant has a different uh, you know level of foods and the ant has different, different level of foods same thing you can compare the garden and horticulture crop with the elephant and you can compare the this small crop small grass with the ant why because you see there is lots of lots of uh, benefits by grasses why these all weeds they are giving you benefits how first first they are covering the soil and stop the all soil ball diseases so number one they covering soil from direct sunlight ultraviolet heating and ultraviolet heating is dangerous to soil health understand the all that uh, you know mulching uh, this uh, now that you know say the mulching uh, systems are now running into the field the all farmers are using uh, vegetable crops all mulching right paper mulching but you 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 have to understand why this mulching are so much famous become so much famous why why they are succeeding because it is preventing soil from direct sunlight because sunlight is a the primary attack for organic carbon it evaporates it destroys the organic carbon from soil who sunlight so you have to protect your soil from sunlight he is a monster it is a monster for soil health so you have to prevent it same sunlight if fallen on leaves this is heaven but is fallen on soil it's a hell understand so you must understand that we have to protect our soil from sunlight if you go into jungle the sunlight is not touching to the soil there high density if you go into amazon or in uh, you can see uh, where are the high density jungles are there the sunlight is not touching to the ground, ground the soil ground. so there is all soil is healthy and rich in organic carbon and nutrients so we have to protect our soil and this is our helpers these are our friends number 1 number 2 they are covering the soil from the diseases okay number 3 they are so much helpful for absorbing organic carbon from atmosphere they are capturing co2 in big way and through the photosynthesis they are feeding to the soil feeding to the microbes mycorrhiza and other uh, uh, microbes right this is free service for your soil and your soil becomes healthy they are helping our microbes because they are native crops when there is not your uh, crop you not planted you are not cultivating your garden few years back what is there this is their garden <laughs> they they are they are domestic na no? they are there only so they are their native place it is foreign foreign atom your crop is foreigner yes or no yes. so the primary the primary food will the right is for these weeds so you can't control it so don't make it competition utilize them you have to utilize them so they are big producer of organic carbon don't forget it then how to control it you cut it with brush cutter myself i started this technology to cut the brush cut with the brush and brush cutter and all the matter will put on the same soil and it will convert into organic carbon and microbes will feed it and they will become stronger yes 
so you can control the pathogens in the same way yes or no yes okay in this fashion you can improve your karma yes? yes so this is help, helpful for us in in vegetables and fruits uh, sorry in vegetables and other small crops you can use the specific herbicides but use their soil charger which will control the herbicide side effect herbicide is attacking on the target crop suppose you are using the onion herbicide you are using soybean herbicide you are using sugarcane herbicide there are specific herbicides you can use it because these are contacts these are not targeting on your crop but your crop also get affected or not same time if you mix soil charger the soil charger will prevent becomes a shield preventive shield for the crop and it will damage target crops very fast yes. you can see here this is two different actions with the soil charger you can use it and you can get the surprise for yourself okay but for systematic herbicides you have to you have to avoid yes okay because this is our friends you have to use all the weeds for your garden soil health understand yes sir uh, one concern is from farmers that sir this crop is increasing our uh, pest attack and disease attack i mean just a little surprise i have so many experiences dear friends see if i give you a laddu okay or uh, if i will give a bitter thing is a sweet laddu and the bitter laddu which one you, you will prefer sweet one why huh okay right so the plant is a bitter bitter laddu and this grass is a sweeter laddu for the pest they are not stupid to go for bitter laddus if you go grow a healthy one if both are healthy the pest attack will be go on the weeds because that is their first priority for the food do you understand so you have to focus on the growth okay the second one the farmers are thinking second concern is that farmers are thinking that uh, the weeds are the becomes competitor to the, uh, the the crop for the nutrients if we give the fertilizer the weeds will absorb it first yeah is true i am i know it but if you use chemical fertilizers that will dissolve into the water and run away with the water channels what is happening that is absorbed by weeds if you use organic fertilizers natural food those herbs are not reaching there there is only your crops root to your crops root will absorb it first and become stronger and stronger because that is not leaching out into the soil as like chemical fertilizer chemical fertilizer is has no its own bonds it can't bind with the crop with itself because it has not not its own sense and the natural fertilizers as like a soil charger and vedic these are making bonds they have a sense they have a sense, sense with the crop they will bind himself itself with the root area of the crop automatically your herbs are you are sorry your weeds are destroyed slowly slowly becomes weaker yes or no yes so there is no competition understand see next problem what is the next problem just we see that uh, how herbs are if you cut them from upper side without dis disturb the soil if you cut and uh, make a layer as like mulching it will be helpful for soil health or they will uh, it will help for temperature control also it will help for the organic carbon also yes or no yes okay so you have to utilize this all herbs and weeds yes. in your farm so next one we can go for the next uh, problem due to chemical what happens 
increases expenses and decreases yield. I have experienced so many uh, farmers' view, farmers' opinions, scientists' opinions, scientists' point of views, their researches. See, in chemical farming, the expenses are increasing and the yield is decreasing. So, so this is this is a, a dangerous uh, business for farmers. Yes or no? Yes. So they they are traveling towards the disaster. So the farming become a tragedy for farmers. Why? Because they going in opposite way. How? We have to go there. Yes. Farmer is thinking, last question, he is thinking about market. Every farmer is complaining about, uh, sir, there is no rates, there is no <laughs> demand, there is no demand. You know, sir, see, my question is there, there is a problem of market or there is a problem of quality? Quality. Huh? Quality. Then why are you shouting about market, market, market? If we have quality, then no need to worry about market. See, if you have a goal, if you have a goal, the customer will follow you. If you have an iron, customer will run away. Which one you have to carry? Which one you have to produce? Gold. You have to produce gold. If your crop is, your fruits are as like a gold, precious, they are delicious, they are safe, they are very nice, they are nourished. The farmer, the customer will <laughs> as like a honeybee. As a honeybee is chasing to the flowers. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So you have to focus on flowers or attracting the enemies. Where is your focus? Your focus should be on quality of flowers. So the problem is quality, not the market. I am telling this fact from last 10 years, succeeding in some percentage, but still I am going on. Okay, so till I reach the last farmer, as I do this journey, go ahead and hide. Yes? Okay? So which is our priority, which is our real problem, we have to understand. Okay? So we have more questions, so many questions, limited, unlimited questions. Farmers has unlimited questions. Questions, questions, questions. But we have a one answer. There are thousand questions. I will give you one answer. For every question there is a one answer. What is that answer? That answer is soil charter technology. Just we converted into SCT Vedic. Before learning about SCT Vedic, we have to clear it. What is soil charter technology? Let's begin. I have one question. First question to you. I am going to ask you for four questions, four pillars. Okay, same. These are same. Don't confuse with this one. First thing is first question: weakness produces disease or disease produces weakness. What do you think about that? Weakness. Huh? Weakness produce disease. disease. Where is the focus of today's farmers? On weakness or on the disease? Disease. disease? You yourself tell me that the weakness is the main root cause for the disease. Then why don't you focus on the root cause? Why are you focusing on disease? Your all practices are focused on disease. All practices are centralized on disease control. See, I have an example for you. See. There is one nail is there, okay, and there is, you can see the bike is punctured because of this nail, okay. See, you supposed to be nail as a weakness and this is as a puncture. Think, if you are a farmer, what do you do first, remove the nail or do the puncture? Remove the nail. Why? If you don't remove the nail and you do the puncture, what will happen? It will disturb the tire and air will run away. Every time different different puncture. Every time you have a different different patch. <laughs> okay. Every time you are changing your patches from this shop, from this shop, this one, this side, this pesticide, this one, this one, this one. Whether you are changing all pesticides and fungicides, if your root cause is there, if you don't work on weakness, 
Disease will occur again and again. And there is the big mistake of farmers. Where is your focus? Your focus is in wrong way. Focus on strength of soil, of crop. You will not get the harm from disease and anything. Yes or no? Yes. Next one. See, there is a very beautiful, beautiful video for myself. I want to share with you why soil matters. You understand? The plants that produce fruit and vegetables are rooted in soil. But what exactly is soil? Soil is a living substance containing different elements whose interaction determines the health of the plants it supports. Soil contains minerals such as sand, silt and clay. The proportion of minerals in the soil determines its texture. It is the organic matter called humus that determines the soil's fertility. You just see the leaves. The leaves are coming from the plants. And it is dropping on the soil surface. They decay after a few months. Okay. When they decay after a few months, it turns into humus. And that humus is going to deep into the soil and what is happening with the, the humus we will see okay the humus is constantly being regenerated by the living organisms it contains soil is a rich reservoir of microorganisms the microorganisms facilitate the absorption of carbon in the soil you can see here you see the what is the food of uh, microbes carbon. the carbon comes up from humus and all microbes captured it means what is the food for microbes carbon. 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 nowadays the farmers are providing so many of uh, cultures of uh, this type of microbes this type of bacteria this type of fungus and everything from friendly okay this is a uh, there is uh, acidobacter there is a uh, psb again phosphorus solubilizing bacteria and uh, uh, potash mobilizing bacteria are there, they are helping to... My question is there, my friend. If the microbes have their own food, whether they run away? No. If they have no food, how they work? Great. If they have no food, how they work? They will not work. They will not work. They will die. They will die or they will run away. Okay? So, here I tell you one example. Suppose there is a sugar. If you want to collect the ants, whether you will give the sugar or whether you collect the ants one by one. Which one is faster? Spreading sugar is the easy way to collect the ants. Means the food is important. If you give organic carbon into soil, if you increase the organic carbon into soil, if you give the rich organic carbon sources into the soil, the microbes will grow and their quantity will increase why you are pouring from outside this is costly business yes or no yes. yes but this is going on why i don't know still <laughs> okay so this is happening with the farms so i am in through soil chakra technology i am focusing increase the organic carbon sources, the bacteria and the fungus who are friends of our soil, they will come up and they will grow. It's okay that you will give it once, that is okay. But you will give it again and again, that is not making any sense. Okay? And by merging with roots, bacteria and fungi, these earthy heroes, protect the plant from disease and provide it with water and all the nutrients it needs. One gram of plant-covered soil contains around 1 billion bacteria from between 5,000 and 25,000 species. The other star of the soil is the earthworm. What is he doing? I don't know. You observe it or not? He is blinking his eye. Huh? Where? Who is he? I know it, Arthur. <laughs> but who is he for farmers? Friend of yeah. He is friend of farmers. farmers. And who is farmers for him? Enemy. 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 Why? Why? Why the farmers 
behave as like an enemy with their friends. Why? No idea. No idea. Ignorance. Ignorance is a big problem. They don't know we are destroying our friends. friends. And they are making a small, small home as a bed and they are producing the vermi compost and they are growing there. They are stopping their kitchen and they are growing the restaurants. They are growing the restaurants instead of using their home kitchens. Okay, I know that one or two days weekly you are going once, that's better thing. But if you, every day you are depend on restaurants, that is dangerous for your health yes. and your life. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Huh? Your enjoyment will become your death. It is not for useful for your life. Yes or no? Yes. So this is our friend, farmer's friend, and farmers are do all practices against the earthworms. Yes or no? Yes. Of which there are some 25,000 per hectare. In one year, several hundred tons of earth pass through the digestive tract of just a single one of these tireless workers. Worms also create tunnels, which help plants access nutrients and speed up absorption of air and water, which also prevents soil erosion. Soil health has a direct impact on human health, but soil is in danger. The use of pesticides and chemicals... What farmers did? Farmers have done that they have sprayed all deadly poisons, uh, pesticides, herbicides, okay? And... Uh, they change the soil conditions. The live soil becomes dead soil. And then all fungus and all diseases are attacking on plant. And for the prevention or for the protection, they are again pouring chemicals. They are becoming dependent on chemicals. Their natural defenses are weakened. And they Their natural defenses are weakened. And the farmers are pouring chemicals. The all system will become manual. System is becoming manual. manual. And the natural system stops. See. Greater amounts of artificial inputs just to survive. Farmers, who have until relatively recently benefited from the free and natural service provided by soil, are... Fertilizer, then pesticides. Fertilizer, then fungicides. This cycle is going on. And this is a deadly cycle. This is a deadly cycle. Farmers doesn't come out from this cycle. In the last 20-30 years, farmers get stuck into this cycle. Yes or no? Yes. There is a story in Mahabharata. Epic in Mahabharata. Abhimanyu story is there. There is a Chakra view. If you research in you know, search in chakra view, then Kauravas are formed a chakra view and only one it knows. Who? Abhimanyu. But he knows only half. How to break it? How to go inside? He doesn't know how to come out. So what happens? He break it, but not able to come out. He ends there. Same thing is happened with the farmers. They broke the chemical fertilizers chakra viva, but they can't able to come out. That is the challenge. So farmers have to understand how to come out. Right? What happens? The nutrition value is go down. There is no nutrition value into fruits and vegetables and grains and fruits. And there are residue of chemicals. Potentially harmful pesticide residue. Urgent action is needed. And there is a solution. The solution... Again you have to go to your friend. Hey friend! Come again! Huh? Where are you? I want you. In infertile soils, by counteracting the harmful effects of chemicals. How? By feeding the soil with compost, fertilizing it. This is deadly soil. We pour it. We are pouring fertilizers as like Kushyamrut. These 30 elements blend. Okay. And we are pouring it. 
and the soil becomes live again and uh, all those friendly microbes get foods and they will grow one one more thing you have to stop this rototilling rototilling is very dangerous for soil health when your soil is wet or it is working you have to avoid all these things when your garden is in shock condition when you cut the uh, cut the water and you stop the water and the soil becomes totally dry those times you have to permit it but when the soil is live the crop is going on the crop is lying there that time you have to avoid this rotating or any other cultivation don't do any soil movement okay don't disturb the soil because there is a life beneath the soil there is a life and if you disturb the life you disturb your crop yes or no yes so in this fashion we teach all we taught all uh, farmers and we uh, give the uh, knowledge them and we tell them how they are making mistakes they, they have to avoid this mistakes as we see soil is mother of plants if we support to be plants as a baby the mother is soil okay so we can see the soil health is directly impact on plant health soil cell technology first formula is work on weaknesses not on disease if you work on weaknesses you will give the nourishment to the soil and crop your crop will be healthy okay and if you work on the only plant and the disease you only work on protection you will your crop will be same as like the soil condition if soil is good plant is good the soil will be weak the plant will weak the atmosphere is weak the plant will weak means your plant becomes dependable on soil and atmosphere conditions the growth of plants how much percentage of importance of soil and environment we have to compare it first you understand the scenario how what what is the scenario i will give you the examples which has more importance soil and climate 50 50% or 20 80% and 80 20% what is your opinion 80 20 80 20% whether someone says 50 50 he is wrong bhushan if someone says 20 80 20% for soil and 80% for atmosphere if you ask for the grapes farmer he will say sir 20% for soil and 80% for atmosphere why because they, because they are facing with the climate problems and they totally they have a lack of soil nourishment okay they they have they have the practices which are lacking all the all the soil practices soil nourishment everything is they they are working on soil only as experiments as conditioning if the condition is there the demand is there then they will use but they have no schedule for soil nourishment they have a schedule for spring if you go there you have a long and long schedule and deep schedule for for fungicides and uh, uh, stimulants and hormones and everything total grapes control is in their hands hmm? yes or no yes. so they have a big problem of atmosphere there is a soil which is very important how you can see this same second pictures see these both pictures are from same soil same seed same day they are planting everything is the same only the difference is we are applying soil nourishment here with the city and we are applying chemical system with the soil you can see the the clear difference in between these two pictures what do you find out the differences the leaves are working here the leaves, the leaves are dependent condition they are depending on the plant storage roots are active then these roots are active and they are searching for foods they are searching for foods and nourishment these roots are 
roots. They are dormant. Yes or no? Yes. These roots are not dead but dormant. They are not in working conditions. They are inactive. So these roots, these leaves, which are the workers, they are the hands and the mouth of the plant, they all are stopped. How can this plant grow? It is totally dependent on government subsidy. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. <laughs> they are waiting for government subsidy. <laughs> so don't work as a government subsidy farmer. Focus on soil. You get the soil subsidy. That is very great. Yes or no? Yes. So we are focusing farmers to focus to soil nourishment. See, the soil impact is 80 to 90 percent, and atmospheric and the climate impact is 10 to 20 percent. Whether maybe less than that. See, 30, 40 years back, whether there is no hybrid varieties, I know, but at that time also, the grapes cultivators are getting 10 tons per acre yield. Yes or no? Yes. Nowadays, the farmers are unable to take this 10 tons with all facilities. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Then, how you become a winner or loser? Yes, <laughs> hmm? yes. You, means farmer becomes a loser because they are misunderstood the percentage of this both. See, soil condition is in your hands. Climate conditions are not in your hands. Don't forget it. You have to work what is in your hands. You have to not work on what is not in your hands. If you work on the climate, you will fail. Almost. The possibilities are more. Yes or no? Yes. So, we teach the farmers, you nourish the soil. How much you will nourish the soil? The climate, con climate effect will come down. If you don't nourish the soil, climate. Climate the climate effect will Even. grow. Means both things are true. If you don't nourish your soil, don't strengthen your soil, your soil lack the organic carbon, lack the fertility, the climate effect will be more. Maybe they are 70 80 percent. But if you strengthen the soil with rich organic carbon sources and all minerals, organic or natural minerals, the climate effect will calm down. down. The farmer can sleep calm. The rain is coming, don't worry. The fog is coming, don't worry. The other plants and other uh, all gardens are cracking, don't worry. The bacterial blight is coming, don't worry. Why? My garden is as much as strong, it can fight with all these climate changes. That much energy is stored there. Stored there. We have to change the focus. Soil 10 to 20 percent nowadays. You see the farmers are expenditure. If you uh, divide the expenditure of farmers, for horticulture crop or any other crop, farmers are giving 20% for only soil and 80% for pesticides, fungicides, blah, 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 and blah. So many things. Yes or no? Yes. So we have to change this scenario. What is the need? We have to change 80 to 90% soil because this is foundation. This is foundation and environment only 10 to 20%. So there is a second formula, it's work on soil 80 to 90 percent, you have to do expenses, suppose you are expending 1 lakh rupees per acre, you have to expend 80,000 rupees for soil nourishment and only 20,000 rupees for plant nourishment. In this way, in this fashion, you can grow a very nice crop and tension free. Let's do farming as like a game. Enjoy the farming. I want to ask one question to you. What is the formula for fertile soil? Every farmer should know. There are nutrients. Means, you see that three elements C, H, O from nature and N, P, K as the primary elements and calcium, magnesium, sulfur as the secondary nutrients and seven micronutrients. These are the formula for balance nutrients for the soil. 
okay whether are there options two three options nickel silicon other things are there but this is optional okay it is not in general so we can see here the balance suppose these all nutrients are the plant required in certain percentage okay there is a rule if suppose the hydrogen required in 6% oxygen required 43% and carbon required in 45% nitrogen required 2.1% phosphorus required something is in this way if that percentage will get down the same level other nutrients will be absorbed by the plant is one of the nutrients will has a deficient the other nutrients will become deficient for the plant this is the rule for artificial nourishment if you go through the artificial nourishment that rule will apply this is scientist research this is not mine please don't misunderstand what is this research is telling you that you have to available all nutrients in certain amounts then it will be sufficient otherwise it will be deficient so we have to know the proportion of each nutrients each farmers are know that there are 60 elements who are they and what are they how can they understand the proportion how they decide the proportion the their consultants the guidance that company uh, that executives they are other farmers anybody is telling and same fashion they are giving so we come to know important minerals for crop growth these are the 13 elements means primary secondary and micro micro 7 secondary 3 and primary 3 this 30 elements are requirement is only this much this much percentage okay and ch2 is required in huge amounts see then you will get a good crop and healthy soil but what is the fact right now there is a research how many minerals important for the crops there are ch2 in tons npk in kilos calcium magnesium in grams and micronutrient in milligrams but what is today today's condition fact what is fact is there micronutrient farmers give it npk in tons <laughs> farmers forgotten ch they don't know they are giving manure and that manure has a nourishment policy capacity or not they don't know then manure is providing all diseases all pathogens all waste okay there is no organic carbon there is no organic matter pure okay decay material is coming in the form of fol organic fertilizer so they are bringing diseases through the fertilizers even in <coughs> organic forms because there is no nutrition value understand so here farmer doesn't know ch2 they don't know foundation they directly building their buildings without any strong foundation they are starting with npk then they are giving calcium magnesium sulfur they are focusing on micronutrient and there is a mess happen researchers are saying that carbon 45% oxygen 43% hydrogen 6% these are framework elements they are making the plants frame you know in any building there is a steel frame rcc structure is there and those rcc structure define the strength of that building if your rcc structure is weakened what is the future of that field on the building building will get collapsed any any time okay your future is in air <laughs> okay This means there is these three macronutrients are very important for the plant that is up to 94% if you calculate it aggregate 94% these three are required only 6% You remember the picture? What I showed me before you, that picture plant is with full of fruits. Means CHO is in big way. You want plant want and the soil want. I give you one example. This is a roti, small amount of roti, one fourth roti. You know, and there is a big amount of garlic chutney. If we will provide you the small amount of one fourth roti and the full of plate. 
garlic chutney. Will you eat it? No. You are not eating food. Not eating uh, rotis and chutneys. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Eating, but proportion is difference. Oh, I, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> Let me tell you that if you suppose you have forced to eat, your digesting system will collapse. It is burnout. Means if you give humus in such amount and your chutney means your fertilizers are in much amount the soil will become burning soil tds will go hike the yeah, ph will go high everything will go will go hike and soil become dead and in that soil you want to grow a good crop it's a dream only day dream <laughs> huh? nightmare it's, it's called nightmare no you will see only nightmare. It will not come true. That dreams will not okay. come true. And same thing happened with the farmers. The farmers are not focusing on the food. They are focusing on chutney. And their soil gets burned. Their crops get dried. Pathogen gets increased. Yes? yes? And day by day, their yield goes down. Why the expenses are increased? You understand? They are focusing on atmosphere they are focusing on soil okay they are focusing on fertilizers chemical they are not focusing on the humus got the point now the necessity what is necessity hydrogen carbon oxygen 94 percent and other minerals are only six percent farmers are focusing only on six percent they have no any concern about 94%. they all focus is in wrong we have to turn this Fact into reality. What is reality we have to do? We have to change this for 94% for humus and 6% for chemical fertilizers or other things. Okay. There is in Marathi, there is a newspaper in our area, Agro One, and they explain organic carbon means the soul of soil. What is they are saying in this newspaper? Organic, organic carbon is soul of soil, soil. and the base. March, 2000, March, 2016. 2016. Saturday, 5th March 2016. And what they are measured, they mentioned into this news, uh, this article, I want to explain through the picture. See, forest has 12 to 16 percent organic carbon. Why? Because no, nobody is going there and disturb it. All residues are recovering the nutrients and the soil only that organic carbon from air carbon dioxide is consumed and they store into the soil and soil becomes richer and richer in organic carbon year after year. yes but in our farm we are getting the fruits collecting it and we are selling it we are selling, selling. yes or no yes. yes so there is a gap for that when we think about soil, because of that, the organic carbon becomes richer, 12 to 16 percent. That's why the forest doesn't need any fertilizer, water, and any disease control. Means 100 percent dependent on soil, 0 percent on climate. The crops from forest, every tree is ready for cope with the climate. Yes. In fertile soil, you can get it 3 to 4 percent. It is happening 40, 50 years back. You sow the seed and the crop will come up and farmers grow and they will cut it, harvest it and enjoy and they celebrate. Now, <laughs> if you sow, if you go after two, three months, <laughs> you will find their mud only. Then <laughs> 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 crop, crop will run away. <laughs> Understand? Will not find your crop. Right? So means we, our soil becomes barren. As like this, desert, 0.5%. Okay? So, 
what is the reality now? We see, we, I have some uh, soil case reports. This report is from uh, Sudhir Kulkarni and 25th January 2021. And uh, he is, it is from, I think, uh, Kolapur. Okay, okay, yeah, Nimas, Kolapur. See, I want to mention only one thing organic carbon, OC. How much here? 1.38%, and they are telling in Marathi there is less. less. And this importance is we already seen that this is 94% important. And it has given very common importance into the Sorry. chart. Yes or no? Yes. The substance is importance as much 94%. They have to give one Topper. more importance. Topper. There is no. Why? I don't know. It's okay. So see, there is less. Remember, 1.38 is less. less. Okay, next. You can see here, this is Pandanat Nahire. I translate it for you in English. This is, I see organic carbon. This is 0 0.50 and they are saying normal. normal. <laughs> so this is not mine. This is all our uh, labs testing. So we are confused for that. Do you confuse or not? Yes. Whether you are uh, agronomics or then you also confused. Whether Farama is not confused? Definitely. Yes or no? Definitely. If, he, if, if this report is telling that this is normal, are they going to focus on that? No. no. Are they think it is as a problem? No. They will think that it's okay, it's a normal. Hmm? This is coming, it's a normal. This is normal. Corona is normal. <laughs> if you see corona is normal, are you going to survive? Are you going to survive? No. no. Same thing is happening with farmers. You have to focus today's organic carbon condition into soil eats about 0.25% to 0.70% means it is almost closer to desert. Last 40-30 years, our farmers knowingly or unknowingly with ignorance, they depleted all organic carbon from soil. And they are suffering for that. But they don't know. That is the tragedy. Understand? Yes. So we have woke up them, we have to aware them and we have to tell them where you are missing your target. You are focusing on wrong targets. That's why you are failing again and again. So their focus should be on where the formula number three. They have to focus SCT 50%, then I am Vedic on 50%. 50% SCT, 50% Vedic. Why? We will learn it from SCT Vedic video. This is part number 2. This will be part number 2. First, you understand what is SCT. Understand? So, in this discussion, we are discussing only about SCT. What is SCT Vedic? We will learn it. Next discussion, next session. Okay, so just understand the formula. Four formulas we already learned two formulas. This is third formula. We have to focus SCT 50% and natural Vedic SCT for 94% CHO and 6% minerals. Previous in SCT, we are focusing 94% on SCT and 6% on chemical fertilizers, but we replaced chemical fertilizers in. Vedic through Vedic. Understand? So this is our third formula. Okay. Now we are turning our fourth formula. There is a question for you from my side. Farmers focus on factory or go down. Where they, they should focus? If farmer is a businessman, is a company owner, where he should focus? He should focus on factory. You know whether farmer knows. See, there is a factory and this is a goda. Who is there in factory? 
Owner, owner is handling the factory. Yes or no? Yes. Uh, whether there is a manager, management, everywhere, you know, production director, production supervisor, so many ranks are there. But who is main? Factory owner. Factory owner. owner. And who is here? Watchman. In charge? Watchman. Watchman. For? Good. Suppose in the farming is a factory. What is machines? What is the factory? Leaves. The leaves are the factory and the fruits are the godons. Farmers are when they go into garden, what is comes in their mind in world where they focused? On fruits. Means who are they? They make themselves a watchman. They are getting still watchman's income right now. If you are focusing on fruits, means go down only, you are playing the role of watchman, then you have no right to ask income for owner. Yes or no? Yes. So you have to change your mindset first. When you go into field, focus on your roots and your leaves. leaves. See, if you if you give the picture of any garden, everyone is watching the fruits and giving thumbs and likes. Oh, very nice fruits. Whether you watch the leaves, the leaves are small as like a rat's ear. You know, rat ear. If your leaves are smaller and your fruits are bigger, what is the fact? The fruits are sucking nutrients from the stem, from the leaves. They are exploited the tree's future, the crops future the you are harvesting cycles will goes down they will decrease you are sacrifice the plants life its lifespan for the one time yield isn't it fair uh, you know it's fair no no it's not fair because if you go for horticulture crop also or whether you are go for any horticulture crop it will go for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Now all horticulture crop gardens are coming to below 10 years. The farmers know that our garden will not go ahead to 10 years. They are planning for only 10 years. That is the misery. That is the main tragedy of today's farming. So we have to think about permanent farming not short not instant farming we have to think about constant farming if there is a uh, vegetable crop the how many harvestings tomato crops is there how many harvestings you are doing if you are doing limited harvesting and good num quantity that not making any sense okay i when i, when I watch international videos of uh, uh, tomatoes and other things from America and Australia and other some uh, countries, they do the farming one time harvesting. Any crop, they are doing one time harvesting. harvesting. But in India, so many, uh, you know, everywhere you can see the farmers are doing harvesting, harvesting again and again and again. Okay, multiple harvesting they are going for. So they are keeping the crop for. 3 months, 4 months, 5 months, 6 months, 7 months it will save their energy, time and money yes or no? yes ok so we have to think about that focus on factory leaves and the roots not focus on fruits it will, it will fill up automatically see the size of leaves is totally affected to the size of fruits. fruits then you can see the apple bear the leaf size is bigger the fruit size is bigger you can see the other examples pumpkin, pumpkin is there pumpkin has a size big size it's all skin is very thick same you can observe in this leaf its leaf thickness is more and its leaf size is also bigger. 
you, you can watch in simple single plant also see the tomato plant in tomato plants you can see the bigger leaves in lower side of the plant and uh, whether you go upper to the top of the plant the leaf size will become decreasing it is decreasing toward the top and hence the fruit size also decreasing toward the top what is this is indicating for us this is indicating that the leaf size is totally directly affected to the fruit size means whether the leaf are the production house and the fruits are the storage only the go down only so farmer should focus on production house not on go down go down will fill up automatically now after watching this formula don't go to the shopkeeper agriculture shop and ask for the size medicine <laughs> i want size medicine <laughs> you have a miracle in your plant you have formula is there in built why are you worry about the size you have to worry about the leaf size that is the formula number 4 if you are really worried about the fruit size you have to worry about leaf size that is making sense so in these four formulas we are learning about that we make a control for one plant and we give the nourishment for another same nearby plants the two plants of pomegranate and we are not giving any nourishment from our side acid side we are giving this is chemical nourishment and this is acid nourishment see this leaves are as like iron yes flat right yes and the chlorophyll content is richer and here the leaves are curly okay and the chlorophyll content is lower hence the fruits numbers are less hence the fruits numbers are more the fruit shining is more the fruit is not shiny okay and you can see the disease will come first where this side not this side yes or no yes so if the leaves are healthy your plant will be healthy that is the secret yes now how the plant is producing its food there is a small video here i thank for biofix they already made for us plants provide us with food to yes. eat and oxygen to breathe they perform this amazing feat by the process of photosynthesis let's take a closer look we are going inside the leaf this is tomato side this is two oxygen and one carbon carbon dioxide okay, okay. yes which diffuses into the leaf through small pores we are going into and the then enters the cells This inside the cell carbon dioxide diffuses into the chloroplasts where photosynthesis takes place chloroplasts use energy from light to transform carbon dioxide and water into sugar and oxygen zooming into a you can see here the carbon chain means in sugar this more amount of carbon is there the secret of all life soil and earth the secret is carbohydrates which are formed in this process this is food of all life species on the earth including plants food plant that is own food this is sugar they are performing through this photosynthesis and that content is carbon means the carbon from air absorbed by the air is the main source of food yes or no yes. this is the main source for soil uh, food web means all microbes and all species this is the main source for itself plant and this is main source for humans also and all animals also yes or no yes so if carbon content will be richer in soil in plant and in food and in fertilizers and all sources the farming will be easy 
Yes or no? Yes. And the all lives, all lives will be nice. But the, if it is lack the carbon, the all lives will in danger. You can see the difference in between these two. This is lack of chlorophyll. This is full of chlorophyll. The all fruits are here setting with nicely, and here all fruits are going down means all fruits are dropping means he is a dropping problem is here here no dropping problem here photosynthesis and food making is good here photosynthesis is lesser and production will be less that's why fruits are dropping so you understood the fact which factors are affecting for photosynthesis less sunlight cloudy environment see which factors are necessary for photosynthesis First, carbon dioxide from here. Second, stomata should be open. Yes. Third, water and minerals from the soil, from the root. And fourth, chlorophyll. Okay. These all things are necessary for action. Okay. So these are your farmer's raw material for his factory. Yes or no? Yes. These are these fours are raw materials and the machinery is stomata and stomata is the gate and chlorophyll is the machine and carbon dioxide from air and mineral mineral and water from soil is the raw material. So what should farmer do? Farmer will make this process smooth, easy for plant. That is makes sense of farmer. Farming means not plowing and sowing and harvesting and spraying and pesticides and these are nonsense. You have to do it. This is the process, the part of process. But where should we focus on farmers? Farmers should be focused on photosynthesis ratio. This is the factory work. If you are an owner, you have to focus on your machines, you have to focus on your raw material quality, and you have to focus on your production quality. Yes or no? Yes. What is production? Your production is sugar. What is your production contents? How it will grow? So you have to focus on less sunlight and cloudy, cloudy environment. Is it these factories in farmers have? Hmm? Sunlight and cloudy environment is in farmers hand? No. no. What is in farmers hand? Farmers hand is leaf size and chlorophyll content. If there is a big leaf size and more chlorophyll content in low sunshine also, in low candlelight also, it will produce the big size food. So farmer have to focus on leaf size, leaf health, not on sunlight and environment. But unfortunately, where farmer is focusing? Atmosphere change, atmosphere change, rain is coming, cloudy. What are you doing? Huh? Wrong focus will give you wrong results. <laughs> High and low temperature. Temperature is in human's hand. No, it is not our hand. But soil health is in our hand. We can mulch it. If you mulch the soil, the root area, root zone, you can control the temperature. If you give the healthy soil, it will drain the extra water and it will protect the plant from water suffocation. Understand? High poisonous medicine spray. This is totally in control of farmer. He can avoid it. If you spray high poison medicines or may pesticides and fungicides on plants, they get in dormant conditions for 48 hours or maybe more than that. If your plant is going in dormant condition again and again, the fasting is happening. Yes or no? Yes. If fasting will happen, the nutrition value will go down. The plant has to live. So it is using the energy every, every moment. Your, your production will stop when the plant is in flowering condition and your production will stop the effect will be flower dropping 
your plant is in uh, in a, that uh, ripening condition and your energy will stop the fruits will start to decay isn't it yes. the disease will occur there so we have to focus on energy or on disease energy nutrition first energy and then disease understand so whether the disease will come you have to focus first weakness not on disease okay yes. third one low chlorophyll means low greenery if low greenery is there the elevationness is there the it is obvious that the chlorophyll content is going down so you have to work for chlorophyll content our vedic products are working directly for that they are increasing chlorophyll content very fastly fruit charger crop charger it is very nice for this work scarcity of organic carbon see one by one for less sunlight in cloudy environment you have to use the leaf enlargement and chlorophyll content crop charger fruit charger soil charger high and low temperature you have to use the mulch and use more krishi amrut and nutri charger and other root chargers then high poisonous medicines you can avoid with the help of pest fighter fungi cleaner pest cleaner and disease fighter you have no need of any chemical any poison these all are friendly elements then for chlorophyll you have to use crop charger and fruit charger then scarcity of organic carbon you can give regularly soil charger krishna brother and other sources and low mv cannot be already we are working on food charger and crop charger understand yes, means hence we are working through sct on plant health plant strength on photosynthesis function means we are directly impact on farmer field if nitrogen content will be more the vegetative growth will happen you know vigor will more and if vigor is more the pest will attack the pest will attract the vigor is the food of pest it's huh? pest if the pest will come the wounds will happen injuries will happen and they will followed by fungus Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Means, by the nitrogen, you are inviting diseases and the pest. You are the inviter. Hmm? You are the host. Who? Farmer. Okay. If you are hosting the, you are you are enjoying the hosting of all diseases and the pest. Then why are you crying? <laughs> huh? You are entertaining them. Yes or no? So you don't want them stop excess nitrogen. Then you have to promote for carbon synthesis, and it is not happens naturally. Nitrogen synthesis is happening naturally in rainy season. If you you have to control it because it's it's a natural thing. Nitrogen synthesis is a natural thing. It is not in your control. you have to increase the carbon. carbon synthesis hence you can control on cn ratio you can control nitrogen you can increase carbon, carbon. carbon. understand so what is in our farmers hand you have to focus on that if you focus on carbon synthesis means carbon means sugar already i show you the chain yes. means for export and tipping quality in yield increasing and the solid part of the fruits and all things it will comes from carbon and the juicy parts come from nitrogen and water if you increase the juicy part you will have problems if you increase the solid part is keeping quality and everything is there yes, yes or no yes. yes so you can watch this you know this uh, moti this is like she looking like a crystals shiny crystals but this is the pomegranate seed from my farm my own farm understood so they are looking as like as much <laughs> tasty <laughs> we want to we our mouth is watering yes or no yes. <laughs> 
So this is same photos only zoomed and you can see the picture both pictures. This is SAT grapes and this is chemicals in grapes. You can see the difference. Which one you like? Yes, yes. Yes. See, this is the effect of nourishment where you focus. Four sutras. Okay? What we study? Just a review. Okay? First formula is work on weakness, not on disease. Formula number one. When you visit your farm, focus on Focus on weakness. Where is the weakness? If you see the disease, if you see the flower dropping, if you see the size is small, if you see the taste is not there, sugar is not there, you have to focus. The roots are running or not. The leaves are good size and greenery is there or not. There is a healthy photosynthesis happening or not. There is a sufficient amount of all minerals is available or not. The roots are working or not. These all inspections you have to do. Then you have to shift for the protection. This is the first one. Second formula is work 80 to 90 percent, expand 80 to 90 percent on soil, and only 10 to 20 percent on crop and climate. Third formula is work on SCT 50 percent and SCT Vedic on 50 percent for 94 percent CHO and 6 percent minerals, rest of minerals, 13 minerals. Formula number four. Focus on leaf size and greenery and leaf health. It directly impact on fruit size and fruit health and quality. Yes. So in, in this way, we learn four pillars of soil charger technology and four formulas. The farmers are practicing a opposite direction. They have to come up on the right directions. See, if you have a car and you have to drive it in reverse gear what will happen you will reach your home no. easy no. easy whether you reach or not yeah. you have no confidence you will reach or not no you will get accident on the road yes or no yes why because it is not a natural way to drive so one person from all Reverse people, one person is SCT people, he is driving ahead and people are oh, excited. Oh, how can he drive very nicely I and mean, very easily? <laughs> the big people get shocked. People are amazed. Yes or no? Yes. They say, how can it be possible? So many farmers are, they are excited and they are giving their comments on YouTube that how can it be possible? Because you are driving with reverse gears. All four gears are reverse. They have to work on weakness, they are, they are working on disease. They have to work on soil, they are focusing on climate. They have to work on humus, they are focusing on minerals. They have to focus on roots and leaves, they are focusing on fruits. In this fashion, they are driving their car in reverse gear and they want to reach faster and faster and they face to the accidents and they are giving all responsibilities to the climate okay anything will happen they say climate climate oh god please save me <laughs> no 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 please don't blame the climate it's our pancha mahabhutas <laughs> okay so thank you for all the SCT presentation friends this is all the things or four things I studied in my life of agriculture and uh, I shared with you. This is the first time in English we shared with you because I want to give the service for all farmers. My vision is to save our earth, mother earth from these all deadly poisons. Thank you for that and let's enjoy the farming with Happiness with SCT and SCT Vedic. Very soon we will come back with SCT Vedic presentation. Thank you.